What mental barriers do you think trip people up most and prevent them from going vegan? Yeah, so I think that most people tend to think of taste, price, convenience, and this is what we've kind of been told, this is what's intuitive to us. But the longer I've been doing advocacy, the more I think that the real driver is a sense of personal identity and specifically the sense that you are a good person. So I have this story, one of my friends told me that she could go vegan for the environment and she didn't mention the animals at all. And I found that to be quite odd because this is a person who generally doesn't really care that much about the environment. I mean, just as much as a normal person, but does really like animals. So she has a dog, she has multiple cats, she sees them as individuals, you know, as someone, not something. And yet her reason for saying that she could go vegan was for the environment, something she doesn't care that much about. Um, and not for the animals, something she does care a lot about. And that perplexed me for a long time. Uh, but the more I thought about it, the more I read, I just realized the reason that she said she could go vegan for the environment and not for the animals is because to admit that she's going vegan for the animals is basically to admit that she's been involved in something atrocious, something insanely immoral for a very long time. One of the biggest things that prevents people from changing is basically wanting to maintain a certain identity, wanting to seem like a good person. And because that just kind of destroys that, I think that that is one of the biggest barriers you know, that we see. So like for instance, let's say I drove an electric car or I got solar panels. Most people would see that as something good, like a moral virtue, but they wouldn't see me as a terrible person for not driving an electric car or not having solar panels. But it's not the same with animal abuse. If I'm paying for someone to kick a dog, no one just thinks it's merely morally virtuous for me to not pay them to kick the dog, right? It's actively morally atrocious to pay someone to kick a dog. And so I think that really is like the master switch of what prevents most people from going vegan. I don't think it's taste, price, and convenience, even though those do play a role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and what you said about identity, like identity sh is embedded into so much of human action. It stops us from like doing even things that would be helpful for us. And I think that's why people see it as such an attack. Even if you say, I'm vegan because I don't want to hurt animals, you are then saying uh, you are hurting animals and everyone you love, everyone you care about, everyone you identify as a good person who have like raised you is also hurting animals. So yeah, I, I definitely agree that that's probably one of the, the biggest barriers